All right, guys, what's getting in the hoodie? I'm back today, and I will be doing... I'm kind of going quiet today a little bit. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. Um, I do I want to go over all these easy A's, which I'm not going to over for some other reason. Just saying. Um, so we'll go over Vegeta's. I will go over um, Beerus's, and we'll go over Tech Freezes because I didn't, like, really go over them yet. I mean, the, the easy A's are really simple, but just kind of gets harder near the end. Beerus was really easy. Um, cause I didn't like really like go over it, over it, but we'll get a whole bunch of orbs, stones, and you know, the typical cotton stuff. And the world tournament is live on, um, global right now. So I mean, usually global JP always have the world tournaments at the same time. I don't know, kind of weird this time. Um, we got Beerus right here. Crazy. Yeah. I think I went over his already in like videos like way before, but, um, his, his ED is pretty easy as well. Um, I know a lot of people want someone for the Kablog and global, but at the same time, I feel like you should really just skip his banner in general. I know, my opinion is shit. So yeah, Tech Freezer right here. Um, his easy A's, um, pretty easy as well, like the typical, like, new meta easy A's. Um, guys, give me one second. I just meant to go, um, go over this, like, really quick, but, and for Freezer, his, um, units are really easy to get, because, like, half of these guys are really just free to play, but then at the same time, you gotta have a problem, because, you know, he's, you know, um, I don't know, it's just like, you know, you need cooler as a bleeder, or you can use this cooler if you want to, you can use him. You could get him for free, like, you know, like your celebration, like, for Google had, like, months ago, and JP. Um, they can use this cooler, they can use this Frieza, because the event is coming back, and cool's event, you can just go in the, um, portals of memories, basically go back in time, but the portal of memories, so you can just, you know, use the keys and get more of them. You can use this Frieza as well, I think, these, no, they just, they don't have the same name. Chode if you wanted to, um, this cooler if you wanted to. These Frieza, I like, well, I think they're free to play. I mean, this Frieza and Gadook into Golden Frieza, one of these two, so yeah. Um, pretty easy though. I mean, probably isn't, but it happened though. Because I used like half of AGL team for um, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta's when I did last night, so it was really easy. So it was an easy A. Eh, kill it. Um, so for him, you just keep a 3, everything up 90%. Immense um, damage, high chance to stun, reduces damage by eight, basically he was the first part of his passive for 10 turns now, and um, he did 120% at the start of a turn only when the target is stunned. So he will be stunning a lot. Um, oh, for he's only really good for events that don't like have stunning because nowadays you can't really like nowadays it's just like you can't stun, you can't steal. That's kind of like the problem for Vegeta anyway, because like. Um, like all these teams are really built for Super Saiyan 3 teams, so he's gonna be good over there. And for a hero team, you want to like slide him on there, but only like probably would trouble something to go because that. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be a problem because he's you know, you need to be the opponent needs to be stunned. And you're really not gonna like get that half the time. And for um, this video also gives it easy A. Um, I was about the um, I feel like there's the like, there was like a um, a jail Vegeta that Doug I got like in the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta event. He should have dug into Super Saiyan 3, that would be kind of cool. So he does odd types, keep his 3, everything at 40%. Pretty black less through the skill, but good, probably good for like dug battlefield and stuff. Supreme damage and lowers attack, which I love units that lower attack. That's great. I mean, nowadays you really can't do that, but I mean, because every unit in the game just greatly lowers defense. But nowadays, I know like Ingo, like um, physical Goku block, he's getting his next, he's in that person he has easy a so he has good though and he does 90 percent start of the turn keep us two defense plus 120 percent which is great that we keep 10 or more so it's really i love units like that like basically you keep it up a certain amount you can like defend stuff so that's really like he's a really good easy a unit um but dang i really like those two but he's really good though and then take beers for his easy a he just keep a three everything up 90 percent um, that's really good. That's a really good leader skill. Immense damage, um, very low defense. Attack plus 80%. With the start of a turn, plus an additional 40% for 4 turns. Receiving after basically getting hit. A his rage when the is um, 40% or below for 2 tur for two times. So basically you can get, like, rage 2 times. I think nothing else changed for his rage mode. I don't think. Oh, no. Um, now cause, now, um, his 1 through 7 causes supreme damage. A greater rage attack for 1 turn causes supreme damage with his, um, second super attack and his third one. Um, which gives immense damage and stuns him, which is cool. That's great. Um, this Beerus is really like just a good unit at his DZA because he was like really good back in the day, but now I mean, I mean, you can like really get him for free for like, like the redstone and stuff. So, yeah. so for Tech Freeze, he does keep a three, everything up 20%, which is good. I think that's Angel Goku's leader skill, but that's still a good leader skill overall. Immense damage and massively lowers defense. Um, I know it's greatly massively, but I think massively is a little bit better than greatly, but um, yeah. Yeah, does attack with 80%, receive damage um, minus 8% when AP is um, 50% or above, plus additional attack with 50%, and damage received by minus um, 50% when um, when HP is 49% or below. I think that's a lot, I mean, because 
he can be really tanking half the time, mainly, but um, his passive is like just going back and forth and back and forth with the HP is going 50%, you know, 20%, plus he's needing to attack more and more, so that's gonna, that's gonna like kind of factor in and stuff. This cell, I mean, this cell always is easy to yeah, global with the Tickbeerus. Um, he um, does all types, keep us to everything at 50%. A pretty good um, leader skill, it can be like Luster sometimes. Supreme, um, no, attack, um, he greatly raises the attack and causes, um, supreme damage. It might as well get massively, because I think in Ultimate Gohan does that for his ETA. Um, what else? Attack and sense plus, um, 90% and the start of a turn covers 20% health, H, or health, yeah, HP, because it's upwards. Or, um, whenever HP 30% or below. So it's really good, though. Um, he's not like Texo in a way. He's a really good unit. So, yeah, that's um, all like the little ETA units I want to go over, though, today, because it's been like, a little while since I've done the ETA video. Um, plus the easy they're pretty easy. Beers is really easy. Vegeta is, is actually live on global and stuff. I will probably talk about the tournament in the next few days, maybe. I will go over it now, but I just don't want to like make a video for on, on a little bit longer. So yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and stuff, check out my channel. If you want to, I don't really care. But yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.